Hi, this is Kavita Suresh Kumar and I am going to demonstrate how IBM WebSphere application server network deployment Docker image can be built and different containers can be started for running the deployment manager, nodes and servers and configured to form a cell topology. Let us start the demo by reviewing the Docker file. This is the Docker file based on which we are going to build the image. We are going to use Ubuntu 14.04 as the base image and we will be installing the unzip and wget and then the installation manager will be installed and then the WebSphere application server version 8.5.5 will be installed. Over that fixpack 5 will be installed and these are the ports exposed on the container. Let us build the docker image. docker build minus t nd dot. nd is the name of the image and dot indicates the current directory where the docker file is placed. The build is in progress. Installation of installation manager has started. IBM Installation Manager has been successfully installed under slash opt slash IBM slash installation manager slash Eclipse and the IBM WebSphere application server version 855 installation is in progress. IBM WebSphere application server version 855 has been successfully installed under slash opt slash IBM slash WebSphere slash app server directory and the installation of fixpack 5 over that is in progress. Application of Fixpack 5 over version 8.5.5 is successful and then now the ports which are required to access the application server are getting exposed. WebSphere Docker image has been built successfully. Issue Docker images command to review the images. The Docker images command displays the image information. Here we have used wget to download the images from an FTP server and then perform the installation. Hence the image size is 4.406 GB. Let us start a container for running the dmanager profile. docker run is the command to start the container to which we are passing various parameters. The name parameter specifies the name of the container. Minus D specifies the container is running in a detached or background mode. Minus P with the associated port number indicates the port number associations between the port in the host machine and the container ports. And minus V the option it indicates like a volume in the host machine is mounted to a volume on the container. Minus T N D indicates the name of the image and the slash bin slash bash is the command. Container has been successfully started. Let us inspect the IP address of the container. The IP address of the container, let us create a deployment manager profile. Deployment manager profile is successfully created. Let us start the deployment manager. Deployment manager is started successfully. Let us try to access the deployment manager through the admin console. Here we are going to access the admin console using the host IP address and the port number 9060 which is associated with the container port number 9060. Click login button to login to the admin console. So version 8.5.5.5 is successfully installed. Let's check the node information. We have node 01. Now let us start a container to create a node profile. The container has been successfully started. Let's inspect the IP address of the node container. Let's create a custom node profile on the node container and federate that to the deployment manager. The custom node profile has been successfully created. Let us review in the admin console. Node 02 has been successfully created and federated to the deployment manager. Let us create a new server container for running the app server profile. The prof container has been successfully created. Inspect the IP address of the server container. 
Let us create an application server profile using the IP address obtained from the container. Application server profile has been created successfully. Let us federate this node to the deployment manager. The federation is in progress. Node 03 has been successfully federated to the deployment manager. Give docker ps-a command to review the containers running in the host machine. So we have the server, node and the dmanager containers running. Let's review in the admin console about the successful federation of the node 03. Now we have a cell topology with three nodes. Let's create a cluster. Enter the cluster name click next we are going to add the first cluster member by converting the existing application server in node 03 the second member we are going to add a server to on the node 02 click add member click next click finish to complete the cluster creation save the changes so now we have a cell topology with a cluster with two members where one member is running on one container, the other member is running on the another container. So we have successfully configured a cell topology with Docker containers. Thank you for watching the demo.